and welcome to Walking the Whirly and Essington Branch Canal Local Nature Reserve Walk. We're starting here on the Whirly and Essington Canal at Sneed Junction, where if you've been watching Walking the Whirly and Essington Canal, part two of that series finishes here and part three will begin from here. Now, although the main nature reserve starts from Broad Lane on the B4210, we're going to start the walk from here at Sneed Junction because it's not too far and this is like an extra bit to the walk and it will link um, the nature reserve to the existing canal. So that's looking towards Warsaw and that's the way that we'll be going on the Whirly and Essington Canal Part 3. But we're going to be coming away from the main canal and taking this route here. So as you take the path away from Sneed Junction it leads you out onto Sneed Lane and directly opposite is Vernon Way and that's the way, this is Vernon Way, that will be continuing the walk. Just a few metres along Vernon Way on the left hand side is Sneed Reservoir. So, as you walk along Vernon Way, there's a sharp left hand bend and the remains of an old pub on this bend. This is where you need to leave Vernon Way looking for this path next to the derelict building and as you enter the path uh, you want to take the left hand fork in the path and head away from the main road. And as you follow the path, it's not long before you come to some more old remains of this canal.
and the path continues round and it works its way round to Broad Lane, to be 4210. This is the end of the path and as you cross the road here, this is where the nature reserve starts. And just along the road at Broad Lane is Blockswich North Railway Station, so uh, it's very close by if you wanted to get here by train. And at the far end of the nature reserve, you're not too far away from Landywood Railway Station, which is on the same line. So we cross the road and we can begin the Worley and Essington Branch Canal Local Nature Reserve Walk. And a very short way into the walk we pass under the railway line which is between Blockswich North Railway Station and Landywood Railway Station and then as we pass under we pick up the remains of the canal once again And there's a path that leads away from the nature reserve just here just after the railway bridge and that path will lead you onto Turnberry Road once Turnberry Road is crossed over the path continues and it leads all the way up to King George V playing fields in Blockswich so that could be an alternative place to start the walk
And it's not long before we reach Long Lane. There would have been a bridge here once, and uh, now you just follow the steps up, cross the road, and pick up the steps again on the opposite side, and make your way back down. Long
and once again like before the path along the nature reserve leads up onto the road this time strawberry lane if you take strawberry lane to the right here in the video it will take you to upper landywood and then on to landywood and this is the junction with strawberry lane and old landywood lane and new landywood lane and we just had a quick walk along here just to get a view looking back down on the canal's remains so as we cross the road we soon head back onto the nature reserve which has been split into sections and each section you'll get an information board like this one this is the streets lane section of the nature reserve a short section and then we continue with the whirly bank section so the path's much wider on this section and there are also three pools this is the first small pool south pool then we'll come up to central pool and north pool And just off the path, a short way, is North Pool, the larger of the three pools. And then we continue on the last stretch of this uh, walk, and this is the Whirly Bank stretch.
and we arrive at the end of this nature reserve walk which leads us out onto Dundalk Lane. If you turn right onto Dundalk Lane, follow it to the end and then take a left onto Landywood Lane, you'll arrive at Cheslin Hay High Street. Alternatively, if you take a right at the end of the path and then a right at the end of Dundalk Lane, follow Landywood Lane around for um, a short while and eventually you'll end up at Landywood Railway Station. Well, thank you very much for watching. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again soon.